She has risen from the fire before, and she can definitely do it again. But according to The Sun, Wendy Williams still believes that she's going to return to our daytime talk show. So let me get into this first, and then uh, we will get into uh, what Kelvin is saying. All right. So according to The Sun, okay, Wendy Williams is in, com quote, complete denial and still believes she's returning to her, her talk show despite the official cancellation announcement. A source close to the axed, uh, the axed talk show host told The Sun hours after the production company announced that Friday's Wendy Williams show would be the last, Wendy was still strenuously denying the news was true. They continue and say, despite the announcement yesterday, earlier this week, from Debmar Mercury that the show is over as of last night, Wendy was privately telling her close friends that the announcement is lies. Wendy is in total and complete denial. If you spoke to her, you wouldn't know what to believe either. That's how in denial she is. The insider said that a close friend had attempted to make plans with Wendy after the show aired on Friday since it marks the end of a 13-year run on television. And she told them, no, I'm busy. And that's a lie. She's saying that this was a lie, that the show was ending on Friday. Uh, a close source added, she hasn't come to terms that she's done on TV, that Dub Mar is done with her, and that she doesn't have a show. She's in absolute and complete denial. Wendy doesn't have a show, she doesn't have a manager, and she's still not capable of being on TV anyway, a close source added. A second source exclusively told The Sun earlier this week that Wendy refused to participate in the final episode on Friday. She said no to production for a pre-taped goodbye. She's not at peace with what happened at all, the source said, adding she is blaming everyone else but herself. Uh, all this comes after a spokesperson for the Wendy Williams show confirmed that the program is now officially over and that the final episode aired today, June 17th, 2022. So that was one of the reports that came out earlier this week in regards to Wendy Williams. So in the middle of preparing and editing this clip from our tribute to Wendy Williams, where we were covering some of the stories that came out in the last couple of days, including Kelvin Hunter talking about how the show ended was a travesty without Wendy Williams, and also the Sun's report about Wendy Williams not being fully understanding that the Wendy Williams show is over. Well, in a new interview with extras Billy Bush, who she's had a relationship on her show, the Wendy Williams show, she's restoring some hope for fans she says this she told billy she sat down with M mort marcus and ira bernstein the two heads of dubmar mercury the production company that owned the wendy williams show she wanted to be clear that she loves those guys wendy told billy parting ways was amicable and they all agreed williams also revealed to billy that she's heading off into the world of podcasts with itunes so fans will be able to get their fix of daytime icon of the daytime daytime icon and radio show legend. So she's clearing up the a uh, you know any anim animosity with Dubmar Mercury. You also know that Kelvin, her ex husband, is suing Dubmar Mercury for um, you know termination of his employment, um, un unlawful termination of his employment. So this is interesting. This is interesting. As always, guys, I know you're interested in hearing more from Wendy. Are you interested in a podcast? I'm sure you are. Kel Kevin Hunter, a.k.a. Kelvin Hunter, okay, is also speaking out about this final episode. I don't know if any of you guys got to see it. I did watch it because I felt like I can't do this tribute without really being able to speak as to what Dubmar Mercury is doing. First of all, shout out to the production and cast and crew because I know we've been very critical of Dubmar Mercury, but the cast and crew are just there to, you know, do their jobs. I know they're grateful to be able to move on to another job, and that will be the Sherry Shepard show. I don't know if you guys watched it. There was something off about Sherry, and I don't know what it was. Who knows? Who knows? But that was just my observation. It just felt, she felt a little off, a little uncomfortable. But I did like the, the little tribute that they did towards the end because it just reminded me of how much Wendy Williams loved doing the Wendy Williams show. If you watched Wendy Williams after show on YouTube, then you knew, like she was grateful. She was so grateful to have a daytime talk show because she had, she, they had tried to do daytime talk with her before. At one point she had did something with Monique. 
they were trying to do another daytime talk and it, it just never happened. And then this finally happened for Wendy. And she was so grateful to have it so much so that she would get so emotional talking about it. So according to page six, yes, we have some more, some more news. Kel Kelvin Hunter speaking out. Kevin Hunter didn't mince words when it came to, uh, came to, when it came time to address the, fe the finale of the Wendy Williams show. Remember, he was an executive producer and the husband, the ex-husband now of Wendy Williams. Williams' ex-husband, who is in the midst of a lawsuit, don't forget that part, he's also suing Debmar Mercury, with the daytime talk show's production company, uh, Debmar Mercury, blasted the final episode as a travesty. He says, I feel like it's a travesty on the part of Dubmar Mercury to have such an unceremonious departure without Wendy being involved, he said to Entertainment Tonight in a statement. He says, it's the first time in the history of talk shows for, for this to be done. And I've said that. Calvin, you watching the videos? He says, it's the first time in the history of talk shows for this to be done, especially for a show that has been on for more than 10 years. There's absolute, absolutely no reason why a bigger celebration that involved Wendy couldn't happen. Hunter, who shares a son with, um, uh, who shares a son, Kevin Hunter Jr., uh, who's 21 years old with Williams, co-created Wendy with The Wendy Show with his former wife, but was fired from his role as executive producer just one week after she filed for divorce in April of 2019. He says, um, I know the blood, sweat, and tears that went into making the show such a success. And I'm not happy with the way the show is going out on a personal level, he continued. And he says, I'm truly sorry that the show's fans have to see it go down the way that it is. A spokesperson for the show confirmed to Page Six earlier this week that it would be ending Friday after 13 seasons. Um, Wendy Williams did not appear for a goodbye tribute, but the show aired a video montage of, of her on on, on the show today, who, uh, as you know, who has been reportedly struggling with health issues in the last couple of years, part of the reason why she has not made an appearance on the final season of the show. There's been a lot of back and forth in regards to Sherry Shepard being, you know, being the replacement. And then, of course, these other side things that we, we discovered that Doug Murphy was doing with Sherry's YouTube channel, then her Instagram. Look, we said this before. We're not trying to pit Wendy Williams versus versus sherry not at all some people will watch uh sherry show i'm gonna give sherry show a chance i gave the real chance i can give this show a chance as i said to you before watching this final episode with sherry i don't know i felt a weird energy i don't know if anyone else saw it i just felt a weird energy with sherry i don't know what it was but it it, it felt a little off but it could it could be because she's like i can't even really be excited because this woman's losing her show and I'm getting my show. I don't know. Um, what's his name? Norman. So the paparazzi were outside. <laughs> the paparazzi were outside the Wendy Williams show asking questions. And of course they asked both Suzanne and Norman, have you spoken to Wendy? Suzanne bolted. <laughs> she was just like, hey guys, bye. Hey. They are going to be returning as executive producers for the Sherry Shepard show. Norman did reveal, he's like, oh, we really haven't decided what the, when, what the Sherry Shepard show is going to look like. We're going to figure those detail, details out this summer because people were asking, are you guys going to do Hot Topics? Look, Wendy has admitted to taking the, the title of Hot Topics from The View. As we've said mul multiple times, people have accused me like, oh, you copying this one, you copying that one. No. <laughs> if I'm copying anyone, it'd be a Oprah, a Wendy Williams. But what you do, like so many greats that come before a Wendy Williams or an Oprah, you take what they've done, you make it your own, and you make it better, or you make it greater. So he wouldn't confirm whether or not they would do to Hot Topics. Look, I believe they're going to do Hot Topics. They probably won't call it that. They might call it something else, Sherry Topics. I don't know. But I, like I said, I'm going to give Sherry's show a chance. I'll try. Look, I'll try. <laughs> but watching her host it today, I was like... Hmm. 